dear students and working accountants <coughs> welcome to my snap tally training youtube channel my name is babura from hyderabad and in the last video i will tell you so when you are recording the data in the tally in the tally prime we have to provide some security for the data but we want to provide some security for the data it is all it is called security control so this security control we have to provide to the data means how to we have to learn out how to provide the security control this can be provided in two ways one is providing tally vault that is creating tally vault and giving password so creating tally vault password that is also called setting up tally or vault password so in the previous video so we discussed about how to set up the tally vault password how to set the tally vault password how to alter or change and how to delete or remove the password so that we learned already so in the case of a new company we have to set it up set up the tally vault password only in the creation page at the time of creation and then if you want to that is after that it becomes an existing company in the case it becomes a existing company if you want to create an ex create so i'll tell you so in the, if you want to after creating that so it will become an existing company if you want to create start creating uh, alter or delete or remove the tally vault password you can do it only we not do it in the company company page it will become alteration page after the creation so there you cannot do anything we have to go to the i'll, I'll show you the this one so in this case we have to go to the case of any company here we cannot alter that means change the tally vault password as well as change the password or delete that or remove that we cannot do in the what you call here in the alteration page you cannot do so what we have to do is we have to go to this and the alt k company menu in the tally vault here only we can change that is you can change or remove creation means creation also in the case of old new company create in the only create in the creation page in the case of an existing company also creation also can be done only in the alt k company menu only in the tally vault so in the case of new company create in the company creation page and then in the case of an existing company create in the alt k and alt k menu and the tally vault button only but whether it is new or old alteration that is changing or removing can be done only in this so in the case of an existing company creation that set up set alter that is set change remove everything can be done only in the alt k button alt k menu company menu in the tally vault button in the case of a new company creation can be done only in the creation page and delete i mean yeah, deletion or alteration can be done here only but here now the second one is we have to learn about the second method is it is called user access control means any other user if they access the data so they may make some changes or some new entries something some alterations will be there in the data that way others should not access the data except me that's why it is called the user access by other users will be controlled it is called that control user access to company data accessing the company data by any user will be controlled so control user access control user access for that we have to provide both username and password for tally vault it will be encrypted tally vault we have to create only password but for this we have to create username and password so in this case for creation only for creation only in case of a new company in the case of a new company we have to we have to create in the creation page in the case of a new company creation is okay in the case of a new company or in the case of an existing company i will tell you creation in the case of a new company i tell you creation can be done in the creation page and alteration or deletion in the 
this one not okay. Alt K company menu only. But in the case of old company or new company, set, it, set up can be done anywhere. So new company you set up there, old company set up here. But alteration deletion can be done in both the places. Here also we can do that is in the alteration page as well as company yes, alt K company menu. So now our first of all, we will take up a new company. First we create in this gateway of tally. We are not in the gateway of tally. If we are in the gateway of tally, now we can create here. See alt K first one is create. Here we can create the new company. But you are not in the gateway, you are in the select company based database. Now we cannot, we are not there. So here you go to create company. So create company, I am giving secure security control. A new company, I am creating Telangana, India. So I am giving some, some number that is uh, some. And here, Here, after the date, that is books beginning from, so the options should be available here. Value model as well as username. Now we are learning about only that is user access control. So now here, sorry. After this, what you do is go to F12. So control select is user access control. That is, use user access control. We are selecting this one only. Then we will set that answer. Okay. Here, if it comes exit, it last to yes or no. So if you want to create, yes, just give the username and key, just admin. Admin, one, two, three, four. So that's again, password view twice. One, two, three, four. Okay. So if you forget that, your access will be, I mean, your uh, data will be inaccessible. Okay, you must be careful. Okay. So this is created. Like this, we can create. See, in the case of a new company, we have to create here only. New company, here only we had it. Okay. And then it will ask you the username and password, admin 1234. So if you give the password, that's it. Then only it will go to the F11 company features. In the case of a new company, it is accepted. Okay. So in the case of a new company, we have to create here. Okay. And then here. Yeah. After that, if you want to, so we created username and password, two we created. So both we can change or both we can delay. That can be done in the same page. So new creation here. New creation in the creation page. Alter or delete in the same page we can do. So once it is created, means it becomes existing company. So in the case of existing company, it becomes, and now, Creation only in the case that time of creation is created here. For example, in the case of an existing company, so new company who created here, but the new company who created, I mean, we created or we set the username and password in the creation page. In the case of an existing company, in the case of an existing company also, so in the case of an existing company also, here in the alteration page, this is the same page as this is the same as the creation page. So at the time of creation, is called company creation. Now it will call as company alteration. Here also, here itself, we can create. So existing company or new company, we can create here. In the case of new company, we can have to create here only. In the case of existing company also, we can create here. Now we go to the select, user access control, yes, such as. Azure access control, go to this, make it yes. yes. Okay, here it is asking no, make it yes, and we give this one already, we give. So make it yes, already we give this. Already no, no, we are giving now. Okay, now this is the existing company now, in the case of existing company now, so, so I will give it now, the yeah, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, we are giving and we go the same thing. So it is like that. So here, in the case of existing company or in the case of a new company, new company, we have to give in the creation page only. But in the case of an existing company also, we can do here only. We can do here. That is called as creation and alteration page. Page is the same. Beginning at the time of creation, it is called as a creation page. 
after that it is called as the because it becomes existing company. Then it's called as the our company creation page. Here we can do so. New company, we have to do it first year. We have to do it here only. Existing company also we can do here. Only. But in the case of alteration, that is change or remove, we can do it this place or in the alt A company menu. Both the places we can do that alteration that is change or remove. Suppose if you want to change here, the same thing will come here. If you want to change it, so we created two. What is that? Username and password. We have to change both. So if you want to change both, itself you can change here. Or delete means we can say so creation, we have to create both. One we cannot create. Deletion also we can create. Delete both. We cannot get delete one. So alteration, we can if you want to alter both, you can do it here. But one you want to alter, you cannot do it here. Both I tell you. So here you come here. Now I want to change it. I want to change it. So from Kali, I want to I am changing the username. He's asking the password one, two, three, four. I am giving double one, double two. That is the new password. Double one, double two. And the so forgetting password in the user inaccessible. And now old password is one, two, three, four. So yeah. So now so created in the case of a new company, in the case of Old company also we can create here. We created here. Nah, change it now. So in the case of old company, this is an existing company created here. In the case of a new company also created here. And now in the case of our existing company or new company, once it is created, it becomes an existing company. So in the existing company, we altered here. So created in the first page, that is in the creation page, in the case of a new company. In the case of old company also, in the alteration page, you can create if you want to change in both the places. So the new company will not be there. It is existing company, it becomes. So in the existing company also, we can, I mean, alter here only. If you want to delete also, we can delete in the same page, in the alteration page. If you want to delete, it's very simple. Go to this place, control user access company data. You want, yes, you make it no. You make it no, just simple. And the password is one, two, three, four. So, so password has been entered here. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. The password has entered here. We didn't it. Sorry, what is going on? Here, you make it no. Here it is, I think it is carry. No, it is also wrong. And see, this is the problem. You must be very careful. One, two, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Double one, double two, we give. Double one, double two, the, the existing password. So now it is it is closed. So now it is deleted. Now if you see, go and see, shut down, go to this one, now open. So it is not asking the username password. So in that creation page, at the time of creation, and at the time of new creation, existing company also in the same page, and alteration, deletion can be done in this page itself, or we can do. Yeah, there is one more thing. One more company is there here. Yeah. One more company already. We created a new one. Yeah. Security control. So for the security control, we created here. We did uh, change it. Admin, one, two, three, four, five, six. No. Admin, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's given. Admin, one, two, three, four. So it is set up now. So it is a new company. After creation, we created that. After it became the existing company. So in the case of the previous case, in the existing company, in the same page we did. Even here, in the alteration page, changing, deleting. But here now, in this case, we do it. So we're not going there. There we can do, or we go to the F11, that is the alt K, and go to the bottom. See, after above the tally one, there is one security. So go to that, to show all the details. Just Say name of the company. So we want this we created video yes, and then name, password, everything it is showing. Now what we have to do? We want to both we have to change or we have to we have to change or we have to close. That is remove. So here you go to this one, admin. I am making it Bobby. And password I am making one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the password is Password is forget here. And here, one, two, three, four, five, six is the old password. So, so now, you know, it's now, so tally, 
Yeah, the old password. That's the one. So again, so the old password is one, two, three, four. Yes, it is correct. And every time it is asking, whenever you are making inside, yes, it will ask you email ID for browser access. You make it none. Don't give any ID. So make it none and the access is over. Now then change this, change, change it to one, two, three, four, something now. It is changed it to one, two, three, four. So here we will come down. We will close that. Shut the company. Again, go to this one. So open this. Open this. You have we change it to Babu. Isn't it? Change it to Babu and then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Sorry. So from double one, double two, we change it. So that is changed, it is accepted. So we are changing in the this place in the other country. Now we want to remove this also. We can do here only. So here, go to security. So here, simply, simply like that, go to the yes, make it no. So automatically. Now we change it now. We change it to one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. We change it to one, two, three, four. And here, never give it the browser access ID. So make it none. So here, the security control is removed. Now you see, we go to the security control page. So it is all in the password. So this is what, how to, share, how to set the username and password, how to change or how to remove. Creation at the time of creation, new company only in the creation page. But after that, either that also can be done more, but the existing company also, we can create in the alteration page. And after creation of the new company, okay. And after that, alteration, deletion, everything can be at both the places. And one more thing is, so here, we, I will set up for this. And for this, I will set up. For this, I will set up now. Here, I am making. Babu, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. So, this, that, because it is open, that is why it is not asking. When you select it from the database, it will ask you. So here, I'll show you. Select company that is security, that's what it is asking. Babu, one, two, three, four. Is open. Okay, now, so we have both username and password. So both are changed, both are deleted. But here, deletion, we have to delete both. Creation, we have to delete both. But in the case of change, so you know whether, whether can you change anyone? Yes, you can do, but username cannot be changed. Only password can be changed. Only password can be changed. So when you are changing both, you can change either in the company in the alteration page you can do, or in the sorry, or in the alt K company menu in the security feature in the security button you can do. So here you can change both either at this both the places. But in the case of only one password you want to change, you cannot change it. You cannot change it in the alteration page. In this alteration page, in this alteration page, only password you cannot change. So if you want to change only the password, you have to go to the alt K, alt K, this is a company menu. Go to don't go to security for changing both for deleting both only security for changing only one go to this one user management see change password click that the same thing it will show here company home company name show username and the whole password i have got to give numbers one two three yeah one two three four then now we have to change it to carry that is we are changing to carry only password so password username is bob is okay Old password you give, now we are giving you that new password. Here. So change it here, change it here. Now we will shut it down. We will shut down this company and now I can enter. So password, username, see here, like that. Username is not changed. Username is changed, not changed, but the only password is changed. This is 12345 change it to carry. So this is the new password. Like this, only this two, you can only the password. So both you can create, both can be altered, both can be removed. But if you want to change only one, that means password only you can change. That password only you can change in the specified manner. So this video 
go through many times. That is many times, then you will understand very well because the, the password you have to remember correctly. Otherwise, it will be a problem. It will be a problem. Okay. So, with, so I told you already. So, uh, so with this, this is over. With this, I am closing this topic. But here, one more topic. Uh, one more thing I will tell you. Yeah. See, in the case of Tally Vault, I already told you. If you forget the Tally Vault password, the data will be inaccessible. It can be easy inaccessible. So, you cannot access the company at all. Data means company. You cannot access at all. It is lost forever. Okay. But in this case also, in the case of user access control, username and password also, it is showing if you forget your password, if you forget your password, it will, will render your data inaccessible. That means it is also lost forever. It is given much. But may, many people don't know about this. They may not be knowing this. Okay. So in this also, in, by using a, some, some other method, some trick that can be accessed, that company can be accessed. Accessing the data means accessing the company, opening the company. That means you get back the company, you can access the company with the, some other method, but we lost the password, in it, so we are using some other method. So we will access that company without any username or password. So there will be username, no, username and password, and then you want, again, you can set up a username or password, or without password username, you can use it. So that method, how to recover the company if the user password is lost. In this case, tally what it is lost, is lost, okay. So, from advice to you, please view both these videos, both the videos fully till the end and practice many times, then only you can easily understand. And everyone visiting my channel, Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon and select all. You will get notification for all the videos which I upload in my channel. Okay. And share this channel to everyone, your friends as well as anyone who want to learn Cali Okay. And then, as I already told you, I am running online classes also, paid online classes also, paid online classes also for Cali Prime. EDS, I mean, uh, DST, etc. And the close are going on. So anybody who is interested to join the classes, online classes, you please contact me on the mobile number. I, get, I mentioned in the company, you can contact me and you can join the classes. Okay. And I wish you all the best. And thank you. We will meet in the next video. Bye. Bye.